Oh, g'day, you mad bastards. Great to have your company this Friday afternoon. It is the 21st of July, 2023. You're listening to The Big Show. Hoodie, Jay Minogi and Keezy, you mad bastard, to take you through the afternoon. Massive show ahead, fellas. Bleh. Massive, massive show ahead. But to kick us off, as always, Mogi, looking tight. Cheers, babes. Looking I appreciate tight. that there, you mad dog, you sick son of a bee, you backbone. Huh? Thanks, thanks, mate. Yeah, good to be alive. Another beautiful day here oh. in Auckland. Um, pissing down, Seriously, freezing cold. Just, is it just me, or has it been absolutely ball like freezing these last couple of days? I'll be honest, I haven't noticed that, but oh. the rain is getting to me. Yeah, I don't think we should complain about how cold it is in Auckland. But it is cold. No, was, I know, but it's Casey, colder down I looked, south. I looked at my temp in my house today, 27 degrees. Do you have a little thermometer? Yeah, well, I've got my, you know, my, a my barometer. Barometer. Barometer? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. How are you going, Keezy? Because, uh, you know, second night of being on your lonesome there, getting up to a bit of mischief, are you? Jace, I slept like a baby again last night, yeah. um, and I'm great. I feel good. Went to the gym, got my favourite shirt on, got the Warriors tonight at 8 o'clock, Sky Sport 5. You got I'll your favourite shirt on now, or you changed it before you come in? Nah, this one that I've got on. Oh, really? Oh, is that your favourite? T-shirt or the um, waffle green one? Waffle green? Oh, the yeah, waffle. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got an eider down like that. A what? Eider down. Um, what is that? Um, a blanket. He was actually saying to me, uh, Mogi, he's keen to get this, the uh, Wawa's game out of the road so he can get into uh, get into his weekend with Manaya. Yes, yeah, start it up. Hitting, hitting the beers, he's a keezy. I'll be starting before the Warriors. Don't you worry about that. Hey, let's kick off with a bit of ACDC. Also, shout out Friday. Text us three four eight three if you want a shout out. Fill your boots, New Zealand. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Friday five. You know, I hiccup straight into the mic. I can, actually. That was <laughs> I, a surprise to me as well. Funnily enough, I hit the hiccups for the first time on air yesterday. I've oh, never you did, had I that remember. before. Yeah, you had too much hot sauce, it, didn't you? It, wasabi. It, it, but it was wasabi, wasabi. actually. I couldn't cope. Hey, uh, Keezy, anyone texting in on 3483? Keezy? Keezy! Yeah, Oh, I'll do it. How's it going, lads? Just getting fired up for the Waz tonight. Be watching with my nine-year-old daughter, Portia. Up the Waz. Cheers, big show shaggers. Yeah, good stuff. Oh, he knows. What about this one? Can I uh, uh, get another shout-out to Harris Crow, the mad bastard? He always listens, which is good. Get out, you mad bastards. Uh, dog and Penny's here spudding over the Rimatuckers. That's from uh, Griffith oh, Drilling. Oh, really? The Backbones, you know, shout out. Backbone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and a lot more coming in. Texas 3483 because we do have BK on offer. Yeah, we do, actually. You Good call there, Keezy. What's the time there? 11 minutes past four. Oh, it's time for... The Big Hole. <laughs> yeah. The How's big... the gym going for you fellas at the moment, by the way? Well, I think the proof's in the pudding. Cane in it. You're caning Cane it, are you? Yeah. Did you, oh, you didn't go yesterday, though, eh? I went yesterday. Oh, because you said after the show you weren't going to go. I'd already been. Oh. Hey, oh, uh, you're going guys. twice a day. Oh, yeah, I go ten times a day. All oh, right. Guys, the big poll today, uh, this is one that I brought up because I was at the gym yesterday. Went yeah. today as well. <laughs> Not to brag. Um, but yesterday there was a guy who grunted so loudly whilst doing a squat... I had headphones on, noise cancelling ones, listening to a podcast, and I heard him, and I was in a separate room from him. That is how loud he went. Aah! Yeah, did he get his rep though? Apparently he did because cool, there were man. four guys standing around him, and they all clapped. Yeah, but literally, there are probably twenty other people in the facility just looked up, looked at him, looked at one another, like, "What the hell was that all about?" Mm. Yeah, and I, so the the question how much I want to squat. Oh, I don't know, probably like forty or something. What are you squatting at the moment, uh, Mogi? Oh, the squat. Uh, two forty. Yeah, we're, we're talking the weight on the shoulders, yeah. Two forty, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, two sixty. Two. The big poles today. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot, guys. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Keezy, we lost focus there. No way. It's uh, all the roids in our system. Yeah, it's making you hiccup as yeah, well. Yeah. Uh, the big poll today is grunting at the gym, yes or no? Because I want to know: is it normal to grunt? Am I being weird by getting annoyed by it, or is it as annoying as I think it is? Well, that's a really interesting question um, because, you know, I'm pressing 180, 200 at the moment, um, you know, and you won't hear a word out of me. No. You chuck me in the bedroom, it's a different story. You know what I'm saying? And often people will correlate the two, you know, are you a screamer on the, in the gym there? Yeah. And does that translate into the bedroom? Uh, I'm signing at the gym very loud at home. Oh, well, I'm quiet as a mouse in the bedroom, as you know, and yes. I need complete silence. At, the, oh, at home at or in the gym? Yeah, and yeah. total darkness. Yes, yeah, because so, you need to concentrate. I do. Yeah. And what about at the gym? <laughs> um, well, it just depends what I'm doing. Okay, squat, max rep. Uh, I'm screaming. 
screaming, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. But or even on the warm-ups, I would have a bit of a scream. And it just depends who's who's there. Right. You know, I just want to, you know, fire people up a little bit. Uh, even at the water, if I'm filling up my water, I... Ah! Yeah. Okay. Ah! Got a bit of a story on the gym, actually, when I went in today. I'll tell you that next. As but, long as um, you mentioned how much you were uh, hey, expressing. feel uh, free to call us, even. Oh, yes. You know, on 0800 Hodaki and or, and or, text us 3483 as always. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. The Big Show, Big Poll today, grunting in the gym, yes or no? Oh, yeah. A lot of texts coming in on 3483. What did I say, Keezy? I'll get to that. Grunt all day. Let him hear as well as see the power. Get some. Grunter all day. Yeah, boy. Yeah, okay. I yep, like that. Yep, yep. I hate that. I like uh, his attitude. <laughs> I hate it so much. Um, oh, this in, one here. In, hey, in fellas, last time. Time was at, last time I was at the gym, I grunted so loud a little Keezy came out. Well, that's the issue is that all these things, are, there's like, for example, <laughs> who's listening to podcasts at the gym, Keezy? Yeah, I was thinking that when you said it, actually. Oh, God. See, even this I disagree with. Grunt on the last couple of reps, but keep it quiet for the rest. Just shut up and do your workout right. and go home. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think, I think it, it feels to me like if you're a serious guy, if you're seriously looking for gains, yes. um, and we're having a yarn about this off air, uh, then there is scientific proof that says if you have a grunt, then you, then you can... You can lift more, right? Lift, lift heavier, um, and so I think that there's a time to be to do it, but yes. you have to be at the right gym. I think if you're at some of the, you know, the typical sorts of gyms, I don't think you should be doing it. And but mine is sort very- of sawdust on the floory types of places where you got power I think you'd fill your boots chalk sure. on the hands but exactly yeah. but at these sorts of places you know out in the suburbs I probably probably well, not the but go. there is but there is that theory too and you as you've just alluded to the fact that you know the grunting gives you a bit of power yes you know you think of the female some female and male tennis players when they're hitting their shots and yes you know <laughs> and you know what I mean, and that's that's all power generated. Funny right. uh, that first that second text there about doing a little keezy. I don't um, bring it back no, to that text. No, I just it just made me remember <laughs> um, that when I when I recently gone back and I sat it off on two fifty kegs and uh, did, a, did a on the bench press there, and I, I have to admit did a little keezy. You know, <laughs> and it was, oh, oh no, I had to chop that off pretty quickly. Chop what off? My little keezy. What is that? What? <laughs> it just nipped out. Uh, it's apparently, like a mole coming out of the ground. If you grunt on your hard a reps. A meerkat. Meerkats don't come out of the ground. Uh, if you grunt on your hardest reps, it also covers up the fact that you did, did a fart on accident. Ah. Oh, which handy. is quite, yeah, so. That's handy. Are you going to insist on saying on accident just to piss me off? Oh, no, I'm accidentally saying it. Right. Jason, can you not be so bloody no, no. critical? Hey, you guys should just have a fist fight. Can we bring it back to that? Yeah, okay. Do, do. Well, the issue is Jace has been so grumpy lately. <laughs> <laughs> Keep those six <laughs> coming, by the way, on 3483. Or give us a call if you have a very strong opinion about it on 0800 Hodaki. No, nah, because oh. they'll just get on the phone and go, Aah! The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Benogan, and Kesey. Weekdays at four. On Radio Hodaki. A few shout outs there on 3483 Keezy. That's right. Uh, shout out to Keezy's Nebulizer. Yeah. Shout it's out done to. a lot of hard yards over the yeah, years, it man. Has. Must be Would it be old here bastard it, now. Keezy? Guys, I haven't used one in over 20 years. Uh, hey, hey, Kenny Rogers, Rory, and Jewel here listening in from Tolaga Bay. Oh, shout out. Oh, Tolaga. Tolaga. That's where my whanau are from. Oh, Tolaga Bay, oh yeah. So. I've got nice. a good mate over there. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Strongs. Bloody yeah. good. Um, and shout out to the Waz. Up the Waz. Yeah, up go the Waz. Waz. Yeah. It's funny, you know, fellas, talking to the gym. I was in the gym yesterday, and for the first time ever, on your advice, actually, Mogi, got all my measurements, you know, and all yeah, my sort of. On you, I got all my stats done. Did you get them done? Yeah, I got my stats oh, done. Oh, good, man. Um, and I put in, you know, you. You put in your little routine and what you're doing Routines. and so forth and, uh, you know, the reps, the weights and all that sort of carry yeah, on. Yeah, um, yeah. And it was really interesting because I, I, I've i noticed previously when I've been into the gym, there's like this board oh, of, of yeah. all the members of the gym, you know, and what they're all doing. And it's like a competition. Sure. And uh, it was so funny because I and went into the gym. Yeah. I went into the gym today and, and as I went through the doors, I... Cat's back. Yeah, the cat was. There's a cat outside. <laughs> I, I walked in through the door, and, and it was really funny. There were these four dudes there, and they all just stopped, right? Right. And just totally staunched me out. Oh. 
they just stop their way. And they're big units, man. They're, they're massive units. And I was going, what's going on here? What's this about? Sure. Um, you know, and they just watched as I walked around and did my stuff and was sort of standing nearby and just checking me out. Yeah. And then I just sort of inadvertently looked over at that sort of board I was sure. telling you about where they rank everyone in the gym. Hoity J, top of the list. Based on your statistics. Based on my stats and based on my workout, um, I was miles ahead of everyone, physically, uh, mentally. N- didn't have the mental capacity. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, blah blah blah. And I realised, I get it. These dudes, they're seeing the new boy in the hood, and it's just totally the young, the young buck, the young buck coming in and yeah. just taking over. Yeah, but you're um, at that, you know what I mean. And they yeah, were like the young totally young there. staunched out, trying to. And I was like, yeah, whatever, fellas. Aren't you at that elderly rehabilitation? Two fifty, two fifty, two fifty. Elderly rehabilitation gym, though. That's the one you go to, right? No, Keezy, it's a it's a proper a, gym. Viola- a violation, it's called. No, volition. Volition, yeah. Violation. <laughs> <laughs> no, volition. Right. volition. Right, yeah, Gee whiz, man, like, that's awesome. On. Yeah, bring it on. Yeah. Uh, and that's so funny, I didn't even think about it. And just to douche, top of the list. To douche, yeah. And, um, and I have to admit, I chucked an extra couple of 20 or 30 kg on there just, I must just fly to out. staunch must it out a bit you. more. Yeah, if, yeah, you're, yeah. if you're at the top like that. Yeah. Oh, I have to come up. We should do some workouts together. Uh, absolutely. You and me can do some, uh, do some weights and Keezy can catch up on his podcast. Yeah, he can. Yeah, you can do his little leggy exercises. <laughs> little leggy. Uh, and, I, and I did that. What? I, I was doing like the, the the staunch walk in front of the mirrors too, you know, the no neck sort of shoulder walk. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, with my, in my singlet there, just just checking them all out. Yeah, like, a lot I of guys tell, do man, that they were at freaking, my gym. They were freaking out. Yeah, man. You are hot. Hoody James. You're looking good, man. I tell Thanks, you what, man. and this, this is what you're looking like in winter. I can't wait to see what you, you look like in summer. <laughs> I just can't wait to get my kid off. I know. God damn it. Keezy. Keezy, you right, Keezy? Yeah, no, I'm just sitting here <laughs> like, oh, yeah, yeah, cool. Can't wait to see Jace without his kid off. Yo, are you thinking that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sicko. I understand that. Although, Sicko. when you're taking your kid off, make sure it's not a jumper, because getting it up past that schnoz will be hard when you take it off. Five bucks, pugs. Because <laughs> it's massive. <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue, and Keezy. This is Breaking News. There's an issue that needs to be addressed in the big show, fellas. And can I kick it off, actually, by starting and stating? It's a a formal apology, really, actually. It's a formal apology from Hoity J for my uh, throbber choice last week. Yeah. And um, I'll be honest with you, when I heard it played out on air, I was embarrassed. I was humiliated. And... um, I felt stupid. My family felt stupid. It made you guys look stupid. Nah. And I just wanted to apologise for that because it was just not in the keeping of the throbber. And I just feel in general, actually, the throbber, we've been missing the ball as a unit. Yeah, that's right. I think there's been a lot of complaints over recent uh, weeks um, that some of the songs aren't really up to it. Mostly, you know, hoity jays. I've certainly let things slip as well, and I think we've lost uh, sight of what the throbber is meant to be, and that is, it's it's in the name, it's meant to be a throbber. Yes. It's meant to be a huge, throbbing, pounding tune to kickstart your weekend. Well, if you want... Sorry, Keezy, but I think it's encapsulated by the fact that the throbber last week was the Pet Shop Boys. Yeah, exactly. Jace. Exactly right. That was my choice, and I apologise. That one... I yeah. know, so that's what I mean. Vote, so your guys' songs were so bad, they'd rather hear the Pet Shop Boys. However, Pugs actually got four votes, even though he wasn't he didn't have part a of song it. Yeah, he didn't even he didn't have, have a song, a song in there. That's how bad the selections were. Yeah. And the text that came in, Christ, this is awful, Keezy. What sort of a world allows this nonsense to win? FFS, uh, they all <laughs> sucked. These songs all suck, guys. Guys, this is the worst throbber ever. Yeah. But we get, we. I mean, they call it the worst throbber every week. And to be fair, they've been right lately. Yeah, they have. Um, so we're going to pick up our game. You can guarantee that from now on. And uh, hopefully starting today, uh, things will be in a better place. So we all agree. Although we've already got a song from Hoity J that uh, we don't even know what it is. We've it's never an heard absolute it. shambles. So we'll see how we go. <laughs> it's a tune. Well, so, I'm yet to hear it, but I bet it's not. So are we all in agreement <laughs> that we're all pulling finger... 
and that we're making sure the throbber throbs yes, every Friday. Yes, yes. Yeah. that's been my focus today. I don't know about you, fellas. I mean, we might get a bit of Thompson twins from Keezy. I don't know. Or a bit of pet shop it. boys. A bit of pet shop boys. It's up to you guys to make Yummy sure boys. it doesn't win, all right? Yeah, yeah. All right. And, but also, I think the audience has to take some responsibility as well. If you're going to vote for pet shop boys, and that's yeah. what you get. Yeah, totally. The Hauraki Big Show Podcast. It's the Hauraki Big Show's Friday Throbber. Woo! Yeah, boy. Yeah, man. Here we go. Good times. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> It's the, it's the, um, the segment that nearly broke the big show. Yeah. <laughs> it, it really was. Was that, was. was that argument we just had while the news was playing about the throbber just then? Was that the biggest argument we've ever had? That's the biggest argument we've ever had, and it doesn't even really qualify as an argument. No, it was, well, more, yeah. an argument. It was more just frustration. Oh, than yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're just yeah. trying to think. It was funny. From my, it was from my end, it was frustration. No, oh. From my end, it was funny. From um, my end, it was very frustrating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, we've got there. Chase, do you want to go first, man? I'm not really. Yeah, go on, bro. Um, hey, how did you come to pick this song? Oh, well, I picked it in about uh, about 40 seconds ago because <laughs> Why was of that? technical difficulties with the song I chose. It wasn't because the song you originally chose was not a song anyone had heard of and it was really hard to source, and our new temporary producer was having technical issues copying it over, was yes. it? Yes, yeah, that was the issue. <laughs> um, so what'd you go for? But anyway, we've got a ripper here. Yeah. What's it called? Oh, Marty Bum. <laughs> It's actually a good song. Who sings it? Arctic Monkeys. She's bro. not exactly Robin. Yeah, it'll pick you up. <laughs> wouldn't it be? <laughs> hey, wouldn't it be ironic if I do win today? You oh can't, god! We can't apologise to the nation for having crap throbbers and then pick that one first up. Yeah. All right, uh, Mike. What do you go for? Uh, a little bit of Metallica, mate. I'm bringing them back. Here we go, here we go. Ride the lightning, baby. I mean, it's no Marty Bum. (laughs) (laughs) What really annoys me is my original would have shat all over that. Oh, of course it would have. Yeah. Uh, And here's my throbber. (laughs) Dooby (laughs) doop doop. heard this five times today. Yeah, I think so. Hey. hey. <laughs> but the good news is, New Zealand, you decide, give us a call right now on 0800 ho Oh, this would have been a good throb. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a tough act to follow, actually. <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. It's the Hodaki Big Show's Friday Throbber. Yes, and as you can imagine, the uh, phone lines are chocker, fellas. They are chocker blocker. Uh, um, the text machine's also chocker. Uh, Jace shaking my head. Yet another terrible song from Jace. I just get I your head in the game, Jace. Absolute bomb song, man. And it, there was technical issues with it. It's as simple as Great that. Great song, but not a throbber. Get your head in the game, I, Jason. I'm trying. Is what it says, man. I'm I, just going off the text. I've been. I had both my arms cut off before this throbber. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had, had a chopped chew. one of them off, and you chewed the other one. I off. had a tune yeah. today, yeah. and here oh. it is here. Ding, 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 ding. No, don't shut up. <laughs> JC picked Dusty Tunes. <laughs> it's perky, though, isn't it? Oh, it's very perky. Yeah, oh, it. the big Friday <laughs> perky. Uh, from Old Mogo, got a bit of Ride the Lightning from Metallica. Mm. Crank that shit up. Unz, 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 unz. Oh. Well, you can't say that, that song does not throb, and then I chose a throbber as well. <laughs> yeah, Chase! Throbber! <laughs> Stupid bloody thing. <laughs> hey, but who knows? Who knows? We don't know. Let's go. Let's go. I uh, can't oh, see I'm anything. excited this week. I've got to say. G'day, mate. You're on the uh, Hodaki Throbber line. Who are we speaking to? Uh, Sam. Sham? How are you going, Sham? Sam. Sam. S-A-M. Sam. Oh, oh Sam. Sam. Sorry, Sam. Who the hell's Sham? <laughs> uh, how's your day going, Sam? All right? Uh, very good on the way home. Yeah, good oh, on you, mate. Good, mate. What are you going She's for, so- Sam? 
I am going for Jace's Marty Bomb because it's a brilliant tune. Yeah, oh. yeah thanks, Sam. Good choice, good choice. Good on you, mate. I think she called. I uh, thought she was calling the hits there on accident. But... On accident? Yeah, Hating yeah. you, mad bastard. <laughs> How's life? Oh, fabulous, fellas, fabulous. You're good on you, mate. What are you running with there, Hayden? Oh, we've got to get Mogi to save the day again. Good yeah, on you, yeah, yeah. backbone. I knew he was going to go yeah, Mogi, yeah, yeah. loser. You're going to be uh, hard pushed to find another female from England. Uh, avoid Joseph it. from ch 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 How are you going, mate? <laughs> Bloody good, especially after I gave you three a vote of no confidence last week. Oh, yeah, oh, sorry, mate. We deserved yeah, it, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. Who yeah, are you that's voting that's for, mate? Uh, I'm going to have to go with Kenzie. Oh, we're going to the side. A split board Woo! there. Here we go. A split board. Billy, you mad bastard. This is How's, Riley. Oh, Riley, you mad bastard. How's life? Going pretty grass, Woody J, yourself, mate? Yeah, good, thanks, mate. Good, thanks, Riley. What are you running with, mate? You're on the decider. Has to be old T. Yeah! He's done it again. <laughs> He's done it again. <laughs> thanks, Billy. Cheesy is on a run. <laughs> good on you, buddy. Oh, suck. Turn it up. Keezy pulling away at the moment. What's the score, mate? I'm on 10 with an asterisk because I promised I'd play Katy Perry, then didn't. Yeah, Mike, you're right. on five. Jace, you're on three. <laughs> I'm on four. No, you're not. No, yeah, you are. You're on. Two. Would have won today. <laughs> I know I would have won. The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Big sporting weekend ahead of us, fellas. Mm. And we're going to have a bit of a sport chat later on, by the way, incidentally. Oh, uh, yeah. But right now it's time for... Time to chat footy with me, Keezy. What are the Warriors up to? Yeah. Yay. Woo. i tell you what the Warriors are up to tonight, 8 o'clock, Mount Smart Stadium, taking on the Raiders, and you could watch it, Sky Sport 5, with me commentating and my good friend, Manaya Stewart. Really looking forward and to that, actually, well, hang uh, on, Jace. Mogi. And as I say, I'm, I'm getting back to the live games now. Yeah. It's been a bit hectic in my are life the last tonight? couple of months, so... Uh, I just, I just love getting there live and watching it live, as you yeah. do, um, and it's going to be a good night. Yeah, well, I'm a bit gutted, actually. I've got a clash. I've got, a, um, I've got something else on which I didn't realise uh, when I agreed to it that the, the wars were on at the same time. So um, I'm devastated. I'm going to have to let down some friends and uh, go to the game instead, but oh, that's wait. what's going to be happening. So, Aren't you talking about... Um, anyway, uh, it's, a, it's a hell of a game. This is a huge one. Now, you know, this is the Raiders who we towed up uh, probably six or seven weeks ago when yep. it was uh, Jared Croker's 300th game. We went over to Canberra. We beat the uh, beat the shite out of them in their own patch. And they won't, they won't have forgotten that. They're going to come back and they're going to have something to say about it. They've had a few people out injured and uh, uh, Papali'i, for one, will be coming back. The big bopper up the guts there. And they have got a very, very big pack. Yes. I think they've chosen, a, uh, the Warriors have chosen a great side. Keezy. Um, you won't know this, but I think they're, they're going to go with probably two hookers because they're just, just going to be sending those big boppers at Wade Egan all night. And yeah, I think they're going to have Lusk out the there bench, to yeah. start. I think they'll start him off and they're gonna, he's really? going to have to take an absolute hammering to start with and they'll bring Egan on once those uh, those big green machine bastards are tuckered but out. But the, radi- the Raiders so are much. ahead of us on the table, aren't they? They're one place oh, ahead yeah, of us, yeah. one yeah. place. Yeah. Um, so, you tell know, you what, they can't be underestimated by any means. I'll and put it to you this way. If we played 20 games and they played 20 games, I reckon we'd win more games. I think we're a better side. I agree with you. Uh, the only factor I'm going to put in there too, actually, is the weather. Uh, you remember the last time at, at mm. home in the pouring rain? The Warriors probably played their poorest game of the season. It's not pouring tonight, um, though. It's meant to clear uh, up. But it's been a lot of rain. Uh, and the way they're playing at the game at pace, uh, they're spreading the ball, uh, and that was curtailed on that night. I'm hoping that the, the wet ground's not going to affect that style of play. You're exactly right. I think lesson learned from that last wet game there. Uh, they tried to spread it, but they hadn't earned the right, and the only way you're going to earn the right is to go up the guts, up the guts, up the guts, tire out the opposition, and then you can go wide. What, oh. I'm, what I'm really liking about this Warriors side, though, Mogi, is... Their new jerseys are good, Their eh? new jerseys are very nice, but also they are learning the lessons. Oh, they you know are. what I mean? Yeah, you, yeah. We're talking about lessons learned. They are very well coached. No. They know what their game plan is. They're in it together, and um, you know what I mean. It's fantastic. Have stuff. you been listening to my Mad Monday podcast? What's that? Don't act like. Hey, it's my turn. Anyway. Keezy's yummy boy <laughs> of the week. Yummy. Yummy boy of the week. Maratani Kore, who returns from uh, being stood down. 
this week. So expect a big game tonight. Hopefully he doesn't shoulder charge anyone in the head because he's got a lot of talent. Yeah. He is yummy too. Oh, he is yummy. He's so yummy. He's hey, yummy. stick around because shortly we're going to be giving away that Blur time t- uh, turntable. Turntable, yeah. And that brand well, new album. Well, it's not a Blur turntable. Well, no, it's a Blur album on vinyl and a turntable. Yeah, yeah. Thanks yeah. for that, Hoity. Yeah, just clarifying. Yeah, yeah. sort that out, would you? I'll have to you in a minute, mate. <laughs> <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Oh, yes, jerk it out there on the radio. Hodaki uh, Big Show this Friday afternoon. Now, Blur released a new album, fellas. First time in eight years, actually. It's been, it been eight years. It's been eight years since their last album. The latest one's called uh, The Ballad of Darren. That's right. Um, and with that in mind, we've got their album to give away. Ten new tracks, I believe you were saying there, Keezy. That's and right. And on top of that, just to really put a cherry on top, we've also got a turntable to give away. That is 100% correct. <laughs> Radio Hodaki celebrates the new album from Blur, The Ballad of Darren. You probably shine it back on me, but I won't fall. Throbber. Sounds good. It's going to be an absolute doozy. There's a few number one hits in there from the sounds of it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Darren. So what do people do to enter this? What? No, what did they do there, uh, Keezy? They text Blur to 3483. Hamish, you mad bastard. How's it going? Oh, pretty grass, mate. How are you? Yeah, good, man. Did you text Blur to 3483? Yeah, I did too. You're joking. What a mad bastard. Are you obviously a Blur fan? Oh, Hamish? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good on you, mate. Hey, have you got yourself a turntable, uh, Hamish? No, I don't. We've well, got a... a good 50-odd vinyls here, and I haven't got one, eh? What 50 about... vinyls? Gee whiz. Jeepers. You got a kitchen table? Oh, Maybe. Good on you, mate. Yeah, good on you. Well, I tell you what, uh, you've won yourself a turntable and, and the latest Blur album, uh, Ballad of Darren. On vinyl. Oh, cheers. Thank you yeah, very much. music's going to be pumping around your joint. Yeah, yeah totally, mate. Hey. Try a party. You know good on you, Hamish. You enjoy that prize, mate. Hey, what do you cheers, do for a crust? What do you do for a crust, mate? Oh, just maintenance work, mate. Oh, oh backbone. backbone! Not just maintenance work, maintenance, maintenance work. <laughs> Oh, cheers. Good, Good on, on you, you Hamish. Mate. Stay on the line yeah, and uh, yeah. Brook and Studio B will sort you out, all right? Thank you very much. Good Thanks, you, mate. I'm no good with the maintenance work. Nah. I'm a perfectionist. Yeah, you know, same, I end up same. from scratch. Like, you go around to do a bit of a touch-up job on the old house there, I knock the bastard over and start again. Yeah, totally. That's just me. I, mean, I get home, exactly they've got a new the house key, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Yeah, welcome back, you mad bastards. Hope your Friday afternoon evening's going nicely as we head into the weekend. Don't forget about Poor of Judy, your chance to win a flight anywhere in the world to pour a cold one for a mate. How yep. good would that be? All you need to do is text Bear to 3483. That's right. It's all Pretty because simple. it is currently Bear and Pie July. Uh, the month is almost over, so you are running out of time. So do as Jay says, text Bear to 3483. We'll fly you anywhere in the world to relink with a friend. That's pretty amazing. It's amazing, isn't it? It is amazing. And uh, I don't think there's... Where would you go? I mean, I'd, I'd probably, to be honest with you, I'd probably lie and say I've got a friend somewhere, but I probably don't even have a friend there. Yeah, true that, That's man. what I do, because I yeah. actually don't have any friends, well, anywhere, but certainly not in places that I want to go, like Spain. I don't know anyone there. Well, I'm glad you see that, Rafa, actually, Mogi, because I'd be the same. Oh, Rafa? I could go see yeah, Rafa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I could pop in, see Courtney. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Who's Courtney? Love. And uh, who else could I go and see overseas who I haven't seen for a little while? Think of anyone? No, not really. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. It's like it sounds great, but then you're like, oh, I got no mates. See, yeah, I'd, yeah, yeah. I'd go visit one of my mates who lives in London. London? Yeah, London. London, England. Correct, London, England. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Hang on. So you're gonna so go... you've got a mate in London? Hang on. Your mates with Courtney you're not Love. Flash enough to have a mate in London. Yeah. Easy. Come What's, on. You don't have to be that flash. You don't flash. have to impress us, man. Ah, uh, sorry, guys. The gig's up. I was trying to impress you. Hey, but you do make a good point, Mogi, in the sense of I've got no friends. Yeah. And, but, and, but, but, at least of all friends overseas. But will they look into it? So if I say that... I don't think so. Okay. No, I think they you will. You think I'm all right? No, no, they will. And yeah, what they will. you do if you don't have a friend is you just go to a bar somewhere and sit by someone and take a photo and send it back and oh, go, oh, yeah. great to catch up with old Jezza. <laughs> no, nah, they'll, they'll they'll be doing the checks. Don't you worry We're about that, the fellas. Checks. Well, how yeah. do they... Do? Yeah, um, uh, whatever. Hey, t- but it's a great competition. <laughs> Text Bear to 3483 to get in the draw. Thanks to Max. Here's to interesting. 
The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Hey, it's getting very close to us being on the road again, fellas. On the road uh, down again. on the Tron, uh, the New Zealand Dance Masters. That is going to be happening uh, August the 4th, I believe. That's right. It's a double header, 4th and 5th, but we'll be there on the 4th. Yes. Yeah. At the Hodaki Big Show backbone table. And you can actually join us on that table with a mate. Go to hodaki.co.nz right now and enter the draw. You'll get free flights, accommodation, and tickets. My wife might come My down. Wife. Uh, are, we, are we okay with that? As long as every time I see her, I can yell, My wife! No, oh, yeah, she's used to it. Yeah, good. Because I do it, it at home as well. Yeah. Right. I come home and I go, My wife! <laughs> You she's, do it so loud. Does she's she not loving get it? She's loving it. She loves it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, by the way, if anyone, you know, tickets are selling fast. Are you going to bring your wife, Geezy? Who, my wife? Yeah, you're my wife. You're my wife? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Uh, no, no, she's down in Christchurch that weekend. Okay. Uh, strategically. Um, Mate, are you going to bring your wife? To the dart. You're yeah. my wife? No. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> If well, she's not going to come to the darts. She'll probably, you know, go and hang out with some mates. Some there. mates in Hamilton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cool. Sweet. Um, then we'll make sweet love. That's so cool. Uh, Hamilton's Boom Glowbox that. Arena. It is sports. One hundred and eighty. One hundred and eighty. It is sports. Boozer. It is sports' biggest party at Hamilton's Glowbox Arena, August fourth and fifth. If you yeah. like tickets, hodaki.co.nz. All the details are there, and also that uh, competition to join us on our table. Yeah, absolutely, come and join us on the table because we're gonna we're gonna maybe put the boat out a little bit. I think that we'll night. make a night of it. Yeah, yeah, it'll be good. Keen. Super. The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue, and Kesey. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. It's a big weekend ahead, and uh, probably a lot of you out there, particularly given the weather, will watch a bit of TV. So you need to listen to this segment, which is What's on the Telly with Mike Minogue. Yeah. That's that's really good. That was that best one. That was a really ever. good one. Um, I watched a couple of shows last night. One was called Dead Wind. Dead Wind. Dead Wind. It's what? a Nordic. It's a Scandi Noir. Yeah, great. What's great. that on? Fema it's is on a bell for me, actually. Uh, and it's uh, garbage. Oh, uh, sort of got about forty minutes into it. I turned to the old missus there and I said, "Is this garbage?" And she said, "Yeah, I think it is." I was like, "Yeah, thought so." Right. And then we turned it off. Particularly bad at the start. It starts with a murder. These things generally As they, do. Yeah, they always do. But what you've got there in your shot, so it's night time, uh, you have a car drives into an empty lot. Yes. And the background, about 300 metres away, is a city. A city. Very right. close. The yes. lights are on. He drives in. He leaves his headlights on. He goes to the boot. He gets out a dead body. He walks 10 metres in front of the car. The headlights are now lighting him up yes. so that everybody in the city can see him. Yes. He puts the dead body on the ground. He digs a hole and puts the dead body in it. And I just thought to myself, well, this guy's going to get caught in two minutes, surely. This idiot. Yes. Uh, but I don't know if he ever got caught because I, I turned, you it, turned it off. But that was yeah. kind of the standard. But then I turned on Fowder. Fowder is an Israeli show. Wow. Um, which is about uh, the Secret Service over there trying to stop bombers, Palestinian Bombers. Yes. Well, is that on Netflix as well? And that is on Netflix, and that has got five seasons, I think, or four seasons, and it is at 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, and we watched one episode, and it was bloody good. Oh, wow. Bloody is it subtitled? Good. It is subtitled, and it tells the story from both sides, so it's not sort of, you know, you don't want to start taking sides over there, although I've taken a side, and it's... Uh, <laughs> It's not with the Israelis, to be Good honest. Good stuff, right. mate. Um, <laughs> funnily enough, and as we were talking about yesterday, I watched the, the other the remake of Flatliners. Oh, just did you? Just popped up. And, ah. we were, and funnily enough, we were talking about it yesterday. We were, because you and watched we said, the original. Oh, let's watch the, this, like, what we were talking about this on the show today, Flatliners. We watched it. Shit. Yeah, as we discussed, it was I was garbage. watching it for about 40 minutes, and I turned to my beloved wife, and I said, you Just copy what this, he does. Is this really appallingly bad? And she was like, yeah, it is. Yeah, and then you um, watched the rest of it? And then I so said, we watched the rest of it, and then I watched The Ashes. So good. So good, The We've Ashes. We've already done sports. Can you tell guys. me who's in Flatliners? Pardon? The, the new one, the remake. Uh, there's the... One of the actresses is now an actor. Yes. I uh, can't remember their name. Oh, there. Nice. I like that. And um, I'm, it's Elliot Keith Page. Elliot Page. Keith Sutherland. No, that's right. the original. Diego Luna, Nina Dobrev, 
Beer 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 no, no one I really recognise. It was really, really bad. It's got a five. Ugh. They should be ashamed of themselves. Oh, it's got a four percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, well, wow, there you go. Pretty good. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Keys, we run out of time for your thing today. Oh, that's all right. I just played PlayStation for five straight hours last night. Yeah, time. that makes sense. A few beersies too, eh? Yeah, a couple. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice, mate. So nice. good. The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Manoak, and Keys. And today's big question, uh, grunting in the gym, yes or no, I believe it was, fellas. Was that it? That was correct. Yeah, yeah, uh, because Keezy was thrown off his stride, his little bouncy hop uh, leg exercises by someone excessively grunting. Yeah, well, Can- fair enough, though. He couldn't hear his um, podcast. What podcast was it, Keezy? Uh, I think it was... I think it was a it was a football a rugby league one. Yeah, yeah, right. Good. Yeah. I think it was like bloke in a bar or something. Yeah, but yeah. I was listening to that on noise cancelling headphones in a different room. And yeah, you, you had skull clothes. candies. No, I can't oh, afford those. Oh, your problem. Can't afford those. Um, in a different room, closed doors between us, and a guy grunted so loud while doing a squat, not just me with my headphones on, literally everyone in the gym turned and looked, and I felt like that was his, almost what he was trying. That was the goal. That was his goal. And I'm, I was impressed. He was lifting heavy weights, whatever. There were guys standing around him clapping. But I was like, that was kind of more attention-seeking than needed to yeah, be. Yeah, right. Do you get resentful, Keezy, if people aren't looking at you? <laughs> That, Jace, that is not what I'm saying. I'm saying everyone should just go to the gym, put their heads down, do the work, and then go home yeah. instead of making lots of noise and wearing really tight shirts and stuff. Mm, yeah. Do you wear a tight shirt, Keezy? No, I don't. Okay. Do you want to? One day when I'm buff enough and squatting deep. Yeah, uh, good stuff. Well, it, let's get to the survey then, shall we? Yeah, the big poll is up at Hodaki Big Show on the Instagram the story. The big poll. 45% of people say yes to grunting. Oh, okay. So it's pretty that much is close. Yeah, that, that is, that is that close. That is really close. Are you that serious? Is very close. That makes me angry. Yeah, you don't look happy. So half you don't look happy. Half the people in the world are happy for happy people with a to grunt. a grunt well, in the gym. There well, you go. The, the reality is, of, of all the places to do a grunt, that's probably the place to it's do a grunt. Top, top three places. I mean, if you were just walking randomly along the street and you went. I no mean, good. that probably wouldn't be any good. But gym, all good. Yeah, gym, Bedroom, you, you, all good. Midnight you know, steamer, all good. Yeah, yeah. The big three. Yeah. I, I'm genu- well, I, I think steamer in general, Mogi. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm just a midnight one. Are you guys not gobsmacked by that? Gobsmacked? Nah, that was my prediction, that it'll be closer than you think. People love a grunt. Yeah. They love a grunt. But it's you're about, quiet in the gym, eh? I, don't, I Honestly, I do not. I, I, I can't do it for that reason, because... I like the idea that it would help you, but I wouldn't like the fact that then people would look at you. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. I'm I'm like that too. I don't like people seeing me in the gym. You just like to hide. I'd just be like a ghost, like a fitness beast <laughs> that just flits from machine to machine. Flits. Flits. I like that. Thanks, mate. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Well, there you go. That's a Friday show and indeed the week over in Dunworth. We want to say and take the time to say we really appreciate you listening to the show. We really appreciate you listening to the podcast. We really appreciate you going on our Instagram and having a bit of a tutu and a look there too. Don't yeah, we, follow fellas? us, oh, we love yeah, it, go man. Follow us, man. Hey, uh, what's the plans for the weekend, Mogi? Uh, a lot of sport, a lot of work, uh, a lot of looking after the whanau. Cleaned up the house, actually. Yes. Going to do a house clean. Got a lot on, actually, this weekend. It's a yeah. long list. We'll see what I get through. Mm. Exciting stuff. Pretty Keezy? pumped about it, fizzy. Uh, now, listen, I know your wife's away and you and the Nair have you, you're planning to take off tonight. Yeah. And uh, who knows where you end up. Just take it easy, big fella. I'll take it easy until 10 o'clock when my commentary of the Warriors is done. By the way, Sky Sport 5 tonight. Join us for the ACC. Um, and then I am planning to have a massive night. I'll link up with the Matt and Jerry show boys after they've done their live podcast, yeah. which is tonight. Hopefully have a few beers. And then tomorrow, I've literally put the whole day aside to be hungover at home. So actually, I've got to go to this uh, Matt and Jerry thing tonight. So I've got to leave before you get there. Why is that? Well, because I don't want you to give away who's won. Because if you turn up and you're happy, I'll know who's won the game. Oh, because you're going to go home and watch yeah, the wires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm so going to be doing gonna that be tonight. I'm going to be out the gate, actually. Yeah. Right, okay. And I can Thank tell you. you I'm going to be having the ashes on a lot of the time as well, fellas. Oh. It really makes me happy to know that's going on. Probably smash it at the gym for a couple of days as well. And uh, What are you benching get, at the moment? Get stuck into the old uh, protein shakes, pardon? What are you benching at the moment? 280. Um, I thought it was 250 so, earlier in the yeah, show. Yeah, I know. I know. Every day, Keezy just goes up and up wow. and up, man. It's just full on. All good. Hey, you take care out there. No have wonder a- your honkers so big with all these bloody lies coming out your mouth. Eh? Having, uh, having a great weekend. <laughs> and uh, we'll be back on Monday, won't we, fellas? Yeah, yeah straight. We will. Good Looking on forward you. to it. See you later. 
The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at 4 on Radio Hodaki.